Thank you. Please sit down. If you answer no to this question, you're either incredibly confident or you're lying. <laughs> because we've all been there, right? And this is about psychological safety. We will come back to this topic. First, I would like to introduce what Agile People is. So, Agile People is a community with people who believe that there is a better way how we run organizations, how we lead and manage organizations uh, in a complex world. Because the world, as we know, it has changed incredibly in the last years. We in Agile People are all passionate uh, to combine Agile and people to create engagement at the workplace. And in, um, in Brazil, we are represented by Agile People Brazil. And this is my dear friend and colleague, Tiago Brandt. Please stand up, Tiago, and show yourself. is running Agile People Training here in Brazil. It's all IC Agile certifications for HR, for leaders, for people development, and now our latest course in Agile for Finance. So we work in everything Agile outside of IT, outside of um, software development. Because I know that many, many software developers are really frustrated about how slow the rest of the organization is to change, right? Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. Thank you. Um, and maybe I should just skip this slide. It's Henry. Henry Ford thinking is the hardest thing there is, which is probably why so few engage in it. This is the management that we still have in organizations today. Many, many organizations still have this kind of thinking when it comes to workers who are doing all the work, the value creation, and the thinkers, the engineers, who then plan for the workers exactly what they should be doing. And it's micromanagement. Many companies don't have it today, but still there are many companies who, who still have this kind of management processes and governance processes who are based on this kind of thinking that there are two kinds of people, the workers and the thinkers. The thinkers do all the thinking, the workers do all the work. And there is a knowledge gap between the two. Yes, that used to be true on Ford's time, but not anymore. Today it's not true anymore. There is no knowledge gap. The people who work for, for you are probably more knowledgeable than you are if you're a business owner or a leader or a manager. That's why we have to work with new kinds of leadership, new kinds of HR practices, and organize in a totally different way than we have been doing in the past. There has been a lot of innovation in software, in technical stuff, in the different um, uh, development stuff, but nothing in management is still governed in the old traditional way. One uh, book that uh, touched me 